All right? Yep. This is a back plate seal, and you notice four notches in the back, as opposed to the impeller seal with only one notch in the back. I'm going to install the back plate seal now. You wet the O-ring, soapy water, install on the back diameter of the back plate seal. All right. Set that aside. Assemble the seal pusher. The spring goes in the recessed portion of the seal push pusher and you flip the pusher over and insert into the seal cap. Hold everything together and align the holes in the back plate with the seal cap. Attach with screws, four socket head cap screws. Tighten, just snug. <laughs> Secure cap to back plate, flip the back plate over, and note the two tabs on the pusher is exposed and the pusher is right up against the back plate. Now, we insert the plastic tube into the back recess of the uh, back plate seal with the small end exposed and the fat end inside. Now uh, we take the seal and we align two of the four notches with the two tabs inside the back plate. And make sure the tube passes through the uh, back plate enough so the O-ring will engage. An alternate way of doing this is to Put the seal in the recess of the back plate and align the seal with the tabs in the back plate. It's actually easier to do it that way. Now your seal is assembled, won't fall out, and you notice the, the sleeve is right past the spring and the seal moves freely when you press like that. Back plate assembled. Now the impeller. Here's a notch in the back of the impeller seal that engages with the spring in the recess on the impeller. I mean, engages, it's engaged with the drive pin, sorry. Now we do the same thing with the O-ring Put it over the back of the seal. And you align the pin with the recess. You may have to mark the location of the, the pin with a pencil or something temporarily and align. And then you gently work the seal in until the O-ring seats completely. Can I get it to see it? Can you see it? Seats right in, 
seals in should be no movement the seal is completely inserted inside the recess that's how you know you've got it set up right now you're ready to assemble the pump 